Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make this kind of banner. If I can find it. Teach you how to make. I'll just show you. Teach you how to make this kind of banner and logo. What I've got on my Twitter at the moment. So, guys, if you would like this video, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. So guys, first you want to open a thousand by a thousand pixel document. I've got a thousand resolution. I didn't know why I have it. I just always have it. So when you open it, click on the lock on the background, what says down here. Double click and click on color overlay. You want to fill it out with the back black. Here. And guys, before you do start, you may want to create a circle or something to make this kind of brush and cut a bit out of it like I did, I custom made these these ones here and also you need a square one like that one so I'm going to quit that document no I don't want to save that, thanks so guys next you want to get well, you want to rasterize layer style on this before you do anything uh, you want to click here what I use guys here is the pro type I think a font called Prototype, probably the best one to use if you're doing this. So you get about 10 font size, and I'm just going to bought a uh, name. I've got it really close together, text, so get me one. Obviously, need this on zero. If you want to bump up the size to like 14. So about 12 and place that in the middle what you want to do is copy this put it to about there or here get three and I'm just gonna name it enter here and see I'm showing you how to make a half tone banner slash logo that you can make so here you want to put these in a group, name it text or whatever you want, copy it, copy it and then click control E to merge them, don't mind that guys, I'm just in a Twitter message chat, and then you want to control click, so it highlights this, go to select, modify and expand by 15 pixels, and then you want to Go onto this group layer of text, click the, click a new layer, go fill, and go with black. And what, you, what you want to do after this is click, go to fill, double click it and click O, so it's like nothing there. Then, you want to go on here and click stroke, six, or whatever, you can put whatever colour you like. For this purpose I'm going to put yellow. So yellow is quite a nice colour. Back to be honest myself. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to merge all these together. You don't have to do this guys, it's just so I can move it around better. Actually I'm going to go back here. What I want to do is get a brush with a softness of zero. Oh. Right, um, and get a colour, you put yellow here, as I was on about, uh, go to about, don't mind that group in the chat bar, it's just, I'm in the chat with a lot of people who play Destiny, so, what you want to do is add something here, you get it here, maybe here, and a bit up here, and add that. What I'm going to do is rasterize this layer style. I want to add all these in so it creates like a glowing effect. Move that in a bit more. So it creates like an orange glowing effect around here, guys. Now I'm going to merge them all together. Hopefully it looks normal. Yeah. 
there because sometimes after I do this guys it makes it look a bit dodgy ah wait you wanna also do let's put a drop shadow on this and leave it drop shadow we can do a f I just do what I always do on this I do a 6 a 6 and then a 606 here. Copy that, guys, if you want to. Uh, Rasterizer layer style again. Rasterizer layer style again. Just not to stop doing that. Then add it in again. Just realize, guys, I just realized something. Alright. Get back. This drop shadow, what colour do I have? We well, didn't have to add the drop style, so it didn't really matter. This is kind of annoying why this keeps popping up. I don't really want to turn off notifications though, because I'm like, oh. So, guys, you're going to send to this. Well, you should see it snap here. Next, you want to get this. Go zoom out your document, you get a brush style with a thousand percent pixel. Switch this, put it in the middle, about there, guys. Uh, put it on 80% to make it look better. And then you want to go behind the text, you want to go for a new layer, get another one of these, one of these. And then you want to go for a, the colour yellow, so it looks a bit like that. What you want to do is get a small, like 86, to start placing it around everywhere, places you want it to go. I'm just going to be placing it around places. I'm repeat myself. This is my first ever like tutorial of how to make something, so I'm a bit nervous, as you can probably tell. You can just place randomly anywhere. I'm just gonna be, yeah, as I say, I'm placing them anywhere. Doesn't matter where you place it. If it looks nice, it's up to you. If it looks nice or not. What you do here is go on the fill and go on 25%, so it looks a bit like this. And for the banner, guys, what you have to do is go on 1500 pixels. Height, I mean, fuck, Jesus. Turn it dumb. Right, go on black. Uh, you are rasterized layer style. Go to the text. Drag that along. Go on here. Right, what you're gonna do is make it a bit smaller. Snap it to the middle. What I do here is I get this, put it down a little bit, kind of get a yellow again, let's try and get like a yellow, more like kind of this colour, a bit less yellowy, what you want to do is rub the, what you want to do is do this, rub this tool, just move it down a little bit so it looks like that and then you want to deselect it by cl clicking ctrl D or I don't know what it is on a Mac because I've never used a Mac in my life I'm going to go on here I'm going to zoom out a lot more uh, get another soft brush put it by a thousand pixels again and put it over there and I just realised that's not white So you wanna go there again guys. I'm gonna put that on 80% opacity. 80. You can put it over the text, no matter, it doesn't matter. It's still the same. Uh, you wanna click a new layer underneath the this. Uh, you get a brush. You wanna go over here, 72, go here. 
click there. And you want to start randomly clicking again places that you want these shapes to go. And then get the smaller circles, just placing these places you want it to go. Maybe, I can't really put it there, guys, because it'll look, you'll go with the font. Next, you want to get the bigger circle. Some random places again. Get a bigger circle, bigger square. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm a bit nervous. Right, and then put it when you're done with that, put it on 25% fill. Uh, that's done, guys. When you're finally done, you go and save them as PNGs, and then you put them on your Twitter or whatever. Yeah, tw it's a Twitter banner and a logo, so it'll look like this. So you put whatever name you want in. And stuff it'll look a bit like this this is a thumbnail i've done for a speed art i did on it so i'm probably going to put this as the logo and banner but i'm going to change like the name of it and all that uh, photo shot so thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed leave a like thanks peace